hey guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video i have shown you how you can uh, create a auth logged in if the user is trying to manually change the url and try to access your component so how to restrict that one so i will show you the example so now i am in the login component if i will try to change the component to sign up so it will not allow it will not redirect to another component so i will show you how the implementation is done so once i enter over here here we are checking if it is true if the user is already logged in then allow to access the component else don't allow so in this case once it is become as a false it will redirect to login page again so this one i have explained how you can implement this one in the previous video so if you have not watched and please go ahead and watch first and today i am going to tell you how you can use a breadcrumbs in your component so with the help of breadcrumbs you can come to the component for example now you are in the different component and you want to come back to the home so how you can come back so with the help of breadcrumbs you can come to your home component okay so let's come to the code so i am going to use a ngx uh, xng uh, breadcom 72.0 so in this in my case i have a angular version of here you can see based on your version you try to in, you know, install this one okay so in my case i will install it this version so finally it is got installed here you can see ngx breadcom 7 2.0 right so now we will come to the code implementation there is a no complication of it so go to the angular app dot component html here we have to add our breadcrumbs okay so let me add one div here for this inside this div i am going to use a class as a container and then we are going to use a ng container here inside this ng container before of it we have to use x ng x breadcrumbs bread come here just we want to add it should not be as a auto generate because it will do as a auto generate to avoid that one we will make as a false auto generate as a false inside this we are going to use a ng container with the help of ng not x ng breadcom item with the help of this one we are going to bind the data so let so from where we are go going to bind so that i will write as a breadcrumb i will explain what it does mean the spelling let me keep it same so now we will have a data in the breadcrumb okay so let me add a small so here we are going to bind the url okay so with the help of b tag so it will show as a bold we are finding we are try to find on the router link by 
provide DV scan. Let me remove. I don't want div here. So breadcom will have a URL of it. Dot URL. So here we will get the URL of it. Okay. So once we'll get the URL of it, we are going to bind it with the interpolation. Okay. So in this case, whatever the value it will be there in the breadcrumbs, I will take from the router link, and it's gonna be bind over here. Okay. So let me format this. Now come to the module dot ts here what we have to do here is for this component i have to add the data for the breadcrumbs okay breadcrumb so that will be in the string format so in the breadcrumbs we are holding the home so which will have a data right so in this data we are holding the num of home okay so once whenever we will uh, change the url so it will help you to find out the breadcrumbs okay before of it we have to import the breadcrumb module over here okay so let me add it breadcrumb module this one this one will come from xng breadcrumb only which we have installed so now come here so let me check in the browser now okay, it is getting printed like this why Uh, B tag okay sorry not there it is already closed here right A router link bread okay so now it will be fine let's come now we are in home see here you can see the breadcrumb is coming over here and i have used a container so container i have this css with the margin of two pixel as the radius and background is what is small so I, I i can make any other color as well as you want so now the background is this one so again it is up to you what you want okay so now i will change for the other one so let's add the data for the other component i will add for sign up and header as well okay so now we are in logged in page if i'll go for sign up it is not allowing actually why because i have not logged in it so I can remove this auth for this one because we will allow to the user for the sign up component okay so now it is allowing right here we can see let me change the background of it make it as is white smoke only here you can see home is the main your uh, component if you we'll click here so it will redirect to login so now what we did for this one for the login component we have set as a home if the user is clicked on home so it will redirect to this place so for the header i will put as a header name 
or something whatever you want and for the sign up I will put as a sign up okay now come to the browser now you see once I clicked on logged a sign up the uh, breadcrumbs with the help of breadcrumbs we are getting home and sign up right so now we are in the sign up component that's why it is coming as a sign up and in this case if I want to go back to the home page or login so once I clicked over here you can see the URL is got changed and it is redirect to the home component okay similarly let me go to our header component once I logged in here you can see the home is came with the header right now I am in the different component so once I will go for home again it will redirect to the login so this is how the breadcrumbs is helping to the redirect to any component your uh, what we can tell dashboard so you can tell like as a dashboard if you want so now I am in sign up component similarly this can be achieved this is not much more complicated so what you have to do here is you have to install this first once you have done you have to make as a auto generate as a false it will avoid to not to generate automatically without clicking your uh, any component and this has to be in the ng container this supposed to be have from the breadcrumbs item so in the breadcrumbs we have set the data for this one if I will go to the component breadcrumbs having a this data right so with the help of this one we having a router link so router link will have the URL of it so we are trying to find out those value so it will bind in the board so this is actually visual whatever we are able to see here right and you can add anything as you want here as a name so I will tell as a something uh, dashboard something like that so now in this case once I will do as a logged in login component so here you can see my name is came as a dashboard so this is up to you whatever name you want to keep okay that's it for the video if any queries is there let me know thank you so much bye